All right, show number three, Chuck Harstenson Remax results. This time I'm still in Mora on Knife Lake, and I have done this house before on a live blitz. So one of the purposes of the live blitz was to show you the first two properties I showed you, the 70-acre and 80-acre hunting land. I had not done those on a live show. The other purpose of this blitz was to do something I haven't done before. And one of the topics I mentioned when I said I'm going to do a live blitz is have topics. And one of the topics is that, you know, one of the main things I've learned this year is you got to step up your game. You've got to do more, step out of your comfort zone more, try some different things, push yourself, become better, more effective, work on things, fail more, and just keep pushing forward. So that's like one thing, but it's a lot of things. <laughs> so I am making more of a topic on this one since I've been at this one before. I will show you the home. You got the knife lake in the background. And uh, I was hoping to be a little more sunny. The first one I did, the first land listing I did today was sunny. And then I got the next one, it wasn't sunny. And, and it's a little bit clear like over that way. Anyway, so this topic and why I'm doing this one again is mainly to, to this, doing the blitz today is push myself. And then I have a built-in excuse. My voice is all hoarse. I could have said, ah, my voice isn't working good. I got to do it another day. Normally, I'm super, super busy with appointments. So my appointments today were to do this. Voice not feeling good. Throat not feeling good and all. And that's why I'm saying that my number one thing I learned this year so far is that you've even got to become more effective and push yourself more than you ever have. And when there is a little bit of adversity, you could either back down and say, I'm going to rest my voice today or go on and do what you plan to do. Because I know that most real estate agents aren't doing this. They're not doing live blitzes. Um, they're rarely doing live shows in the property. It's a little bit of a risk. First of all, if you're not that good looking, you don't want to look at yourself on camera. I'm, maybe if you are good looking, you like looking at yourself. I don't, I'm not saying I'm good looking or not good looking, but that's like most people's fear. They, they don't know what to say and they don't look that good on the camera. And they're afraid to do this. I'm not afraid to do this. I want to get my sellers more exposure than anybody out there gives them on their property. Whether it's just doing what most agents do, doing the little bit more that some of the agents do, and then what very few agents do, doing more than anybody else does. And that includes doing a live blitz and, and coming out to these properties, getting some more eyeballs on them, talking about the property, sharing some insights and that kind of thing. So that is part of this video right here. I am now going to show you the property. We always know there's eyeballs on these. So thanks for watching. You can always obviously like the video. You can say hi. You can share the video. You can show me a picture of your lake home. I don't know. Whatever you do when you're posting stuff, uh, you know, in live video comments. So thanks for everybody watching. I'm in Mora on Knife Lake, 26899 Legend Street, 1799. It is a lake cabin. I like to flip the camera when I show the properties. All right. So don't get too dizzy. I should have flipped it much quicker. Okay. You saw the lake in the background. I'm going to walk down. It's a two-bedroom cabin. There's a storage shed for some of your lake needs. There's a two-tier garage. So here's the back of the cabin with a nice size deck, which I was standing on when I started the video. So you got the upper level garage and the lower level garage. Since we're out here, I'm going to show you that next. And this was totally redone. The seller bought it, fixed it up. Pretty much did everything to it. I mean, it wasn't very nice before. Now it's super, super nice. So you can store some of your fun things you do on the lake, like your jet skis or whatever. You could even use this as a little bunk guest quarters if you had to. Or throw that in the house. So you got new siding. Partially added on deck. New steps. New driveway, new roof. It was a log home, so inside you'll see the inside is, you see the logs. Outside now is the new siding. Newly rebuilt steps. Obviously everything inside's new. Like I said, everything's outside new. So it's like getting a new home, you know, new shingles, say 30 year shingles, not low in quality. Probably the only thing that's not new in here is, is a heater, it still works good. It's right there. So, like I said, you got a kitchen, 
It's open, it is a cabin style. It's open to the living room. You can see, like I said, the log home feel, because it was a log cabin. View right out to the lake. There's a bathroom with a shower, and then two bedrooms. And you know when you have a cabin, you can use the two bedrooms, you can put a futon in the living room, you can make it work. I showed you the bunks in the garage area. We'll take you outside and show you the garage from the upper level, although the neighbors like vacuuming every car in the neighborhood, I think. There's four cars in this driveway, and I've since I've been here, they've been vacuuming it all. So, so I'll show you that maybe a little bit, show you the garage. And if it gets too loud, we'll come right back down. And this driveway, like I said, it's put in this, this septic holding tank. This is not a cheap driveway to put in, as you can see, nice railing on it. Um, I'm gonna open this door. It's like a 17 by 19 size, so it doesn't fit two cars, but it does fit one car. I'm gonna back out of here. So if you know somebody looking for a lake home, obviously let us know. We'd love to help them on this property, other properties. If you've noticed, if you followed us, we've got uh, three active listings on lakes. This one here in Mora, we did a live show Monday from one in Long Prairie. And we listed one, signed the listing Monday on one that we listed yesterday in Little Birch Lake in Great Eagle. So we do have three active lake listings in different price range. And obviously we help people buy other listings even if they're not ours. Thanks Ray for checking in, I appreciate it. You know, one of the reasons to do these videos as well on a day like this, I was out in nature in those wooded properties and now I'm by the lake. It's just nice to hear the peace and calm. So I think what I'm gonna do, do something different again that I haven't done before. We're gonna go right down by the lake. Maybe just take a couple 30 seconds to breathe. I don't know that you'll hear anything, but it'll just be a nice peace, calm for a few seconds as I get on the dock and sit by the lake and I'm gonna I'm gonna be just be quiet here again if you just join me I'm just being quiet here while I'm at the lake for a moment. So thanks for watching. Uh, again, this was video, live video. Well, it could be on the video too. The idea is to put these, you know, the, the recordings on Facebook Live and then get them on YouTube. Uh, at some point and Ray, this property uh, Knife Lake is uh, probably an hour and 20 minutes hour and 30 minute drive from Minneapolis so I live in Cambridge was about 45 50 minutes up to more I was a little over 30 more miles up to Knife Lake spread another 33 miles so put that together you got say 50 plus 30 that's 80 miles from Minneapolis so that's how far out this one is drivable in a day like if you're looking for a lake home you know do you want to drive three or four hours or can you do an hour and 20 hour and a half a lot of people say hey this lakes drivable so it is a popular lake because of that I show you the where I rolled through the lake there there's a lot of homes on the lake obviously a lot of cabins and a lot of full-time homes so it is drivable and that's why there's it's popular out here and then again, this is what, what I'm saying. This is live show three. I got one more show coming up and I'll, I'll go find some water, go find some therapy for my voice and, and try to get through one more live show. Appreciate all the views and you're welcome to always to share these, ask questions as Ray did. And everybody have a blessed afternoon or join me on the next one, which will be in about another half an hour or show, a little bit farther, half an hour or so, a little bit farther north of here. North of Mora, south of Isle, in between, not too from here, too far from here. 
I'll be at 40 acres and a log cabin. See you soon.